Banning soda purchases with food stamps is far less important than many other issues that we have going on in our country. We know that by banning soda purchases with food stamps is not going to solve any problems, but it's going to create even more. It will feel that it will take the freedom away from the people to be able to choose any type of food or drinks of their choices. We know that nutrition is a very hot topic nowadays because unfortunately obesity has overtaken throughout the population here in the United States and even the children of public schools are facing danger of becoming obese due to poor diets. However, controlling the purchase of high sugar products such as sodas or juices is not the only solution to the problem. People will always find a way to purchase unhealthy food with or without food stamps. We know that they could even try to get cigarettes or alcohol. They could try to beat the system. But perhaps instead of banning the purchases, there should be more informative programs to educate the people to make the right choices when buying food and also to follow a healthy, balanced diet. We know that in the United States, uh, there are millions of fast food restaurants throughout the country, such as McDonald's or Burger King, in which they sell extremely high-fat type of food, such as hamburgers or um, french fries and sodas in big sizes that are a very low price, which makes it easily accessible to anyone. So it's not about banning a certain product, but it's actually educating the people to make the right choices. We know that these restaurants, uh, sometimes they might not have any other option but to have all those fast food restaurants with fatty foods. Um, but sometimes we can actually make the decision to go to other restaurants where they do have more healthier choices. Now, if you look at the obesity uh, in America, we actually see that 31% um, of the um, obesity is actually in health adults that are less than 25 years old, which is very alarming because at a very um, early age, they actually could have a very dramatic issue or health issue uh, in the long run. Now, the government, what it's trying to do is propose that they will cut actually the program uh, for the food stamp by 3% because it says that it, they, it will make a big difference on the economy. But I believe that it actually will make a big problem because now we actually have people which actually depend on them, uh, which are low income individuals. And um, I believe that if we have the state and local organizations, community leaders, schools, or even you know the healthcare professionals uh, could all work together to create an environment that supports a healthy lifestyle and awareness. Um, there are many programs which are already being implemented. Uh, for example, which uh, many restaurants and supermarkets are encouraged to, uh, in giving incentives to present calorie contents in their menus and foods that they sell in their establishment so they could create consciousness to the consumers at the moment that they're buying. We know that many people will definitely make a, you know, a change at the moment when they're ordering if they're aware of the amount of calories that they're consuming. Now, similarly, in uh, public schools, children could be also encouraged to do longer activities, um, you know, physical activities uh, such as, you know, any type of sports um, or anything that basically has to do with any, uh, any type of activity away from the computers. So that way they can create a habit even when they're away uh, from school as well. Uh, drink more water, um, less sugar drinks, um, and also uh, create salad bars. The, uh, the vending machines, instead of uh, having this uh, type of uh, product that they're saying that there is a low fat or uh, that they are, um, you know, gluten free, we know that those type of food are not healthy for our kids. So instead, they should be implementing more vegetables and natural type of food. Um, at the same time, we can have programs um, that can uh, create a physical, you know, activities awareness in which we can improve, um, you know, which could be either based on school or it could be at work. Um, there are many sites um, that now share the information mainly through social media uh, so people can engage through that media and they can read their contents. Um, you know, if the companies could actually implement a way that their employees could actually be part of a healthy program um, where people can sign up and, and, and they can take advantage of it, uh, could actually be another great option. Um, we know that also is very important uh, the way how we stay active. Um, we know that anything that we do on a daily basis is, is actually something that has to do with our health. Um, if we know that, for example, going to work, uh, we can actually walk instead of, uh, you know, taking our cars, that could be a great option so we can always stay fit. 
Now, we know that it, it has been found that many ingredients, even those so-called natural foods, have some type of artificial sugars and fats. So we know that if the soda has to be banned, um, then we got to think of many other products that also we have to be banned. And I don't think that would be fair for the people that are in the low income.